I'm here in studio by Anne and Dickie Egan, head of the Carers Association. First of all, Minister, I mean, we heard there in Micah's film, people like Alison McKim and Martin Cullen caring on a daily basis for their loved ones. They feel the scrapping of the strategy was a slap in the face for them. Well, Mary, we can understand very clearly the disappointment and indeed the frustration of, of carers on this announcement. However, though, we, be we believed and I believe that Mr. Hannafin and I saw that um, um, Minister Hannafin and I believed with government that it was the best thing to do was to meet with the carers groups and to, yeah, I think so. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, don't worry at all. I'm always doing that. Don't even worry about it. All right. And it's not live. If we were live, head of the Carers Association, first of all, Minister, I mean, we heard there in Micah's film, people like Alison McKim and Martin Cullen caring on a daily basis for their loved ones. They feel the scrapping of the strategy was a slap in the face for them. Well, Miriam, we can understand very clearly the disappointment and indeed the frustration of, of carers on this announcement. However, though, we, be we believed and I believe that Mr. Hannafin and I saw that um, um, Mr. Hannafin and I believed with government that it was the best thing to do was to meet with the carers groups. Sorry about that. So that's the excellence that almost 150,000 euros gets you in terms of a junior minister. Not to mention the expertise that the licence fee is paying for. We apologise for this interruption and we hope to return to prime time as soon as possible. Again, our apologies for this break in transmission. We hope to return to prime time as soon as possible. That report there was from Michael Heaney. I'm now joined from my Limerick studio by the Minister of State, Maura Hochter. And here with me is the head of the Carers Association, Anne Deegan. First of all, Minister Carers there, we saw in Michael's film, like Alison McKim and Martin Collins, they genuinely feel like the scrapping of the strategies is like a slap in the face for them. Well, you might understand that. Um, it was with great disappointment and indeed frustration that finally the government came to a decision that at this particular time, in view of the economic climate, we were not in a position to publish the carer strategy. That does not mean, of course, that the continued support for carers, as we have shown in government over the years, will not continue. Uh, as it is even indeed tonight, I'm here in the Limerick studio, and from here I will go to the Woodlands Hotel in Adair to present approximately 60 carers fully trained under the, under the FETAC programme. So the work will continue, but however, the strategy will not be published at this time. But isn't that ironic, Minister? You're going tonight to get these awards because the government recognises the work these carers do. I mean, it's estimated that they are saving the state €2 billion Euro per annum in the care they give at home. Isn't it astonishing, therefore, that you do not choose to cherish them, to reward them at this moment? And really, if we look at government performance over the years in, in view of the care of carers, we see that increases have, have come about each time in the, in the budget when the opportunity was there for government to do so. And not alone that, but the income thresholds also were increased and made easier for full-time carers at home um, to be assessed kindly and more easily um, in, in view of, of, of the, and in recognition of the reward for carers and in, indeed the Rest by Care grant. All those were efforts made and those will, be, will, be, will continue to be supported by government. But it's all catch Sorry, Minister, but it is all catch-up at the end of the day. And, I mean, Martin Cullen, in Michael's film there, said that Mary Harney, the Minister, told him he was probably saving the state up to €1,400 Euro a week by minding his mother. So I know we need to be real. I know we need to have cutbacks. But why pick people who are vulnerable, who are weak? Why do that? But this was a strategy that was to identify goals and to act on the goals to achieve for, for uh, greater services um, for carers 
And Miriam, you are aware already of the 120 million that we have in place with the HSE this year for the continued home care packages to help people to remain at home as long as possible. These are all supports, of course, to carers as well, to enable them uh, to help out, to give them a break, okay. and indeed to assist them at home while they look after their loved one. Let me bring in Andy. Again, Andy again. We, we live in hard times. And then we I expect the rest of this will appear on the RT website, and so you should be able to get the rest of it there. I suppose I'm left with one question. Exactly how bad do you have to be to not become a Minister of State? 